I'm Mike Carlin, and I teach at the Cummings School of Veterinary Medicine in the Orthopedic Surgery Department. In my teaching, I use a new pointer technology and also 3D printing to help students visualize and understand the material that's being presented. I started using 3D printing because I felt that students had difficulty being able to visualize a 3D object in two dimensions. So when we typically take a radiograph, it's a 3D object that's presented as a picture. And so by having a 3D printed object that the student can hold while they're looking at radiographs will help them understand the representation of that 2D image as an actual 3D object. And here's an example of a right femur that had a chronic fracture of the neck of the femur and has an abnormal shape to the ball of the femur that should go into the acetabulum. One of the other ways that we utilize this technology is this is a complex fracture of a pelvis. And to be able to show the students where all of the different comminuted pieces are sitting and when we start thinking about how we're repairing this, why it's important to pay attention to where the joints are and how much bone stock or material we have to be able to place plates and screws to be able to make this a stable repair. And so as they move forward, they're able to think about other radiographs and maybe they don't need models for those radiographs, but then they can understand what it means for that 3D representation. I've also started to utilize a new type of pointer that allows the image to be able to be recorded in the video capture software that students use to review the lecture. So that as I'm able to point to an abnormality, like on the skull where there's a tumor growing, this yellow dot is actually recorded and played back as students review lecture. I'm also able to highlight or magnify the area. And I find it really useful for the students to be able to see accurately what I was pointing at and trying to discuss during the lecture, which is often difficult with normal laser pointers. To win this award, I feel honored. I'm actually surprised. I've only been at the coming school for two years and I by no means was expecting to win a technology award. Um, I was just trying to improve the way I could explain things to students so that they could grasp it in a better way and ended up being recognized for a technology award. So I'm shocked and really excited.